guys, welcome to What's Up With That with me, Nixon. Today, we will be doing a two-minute book review of My Side of the Mountain by Gene Craighead George. In case you are wondering why it is crammed full of sticky notes, it's because it's a book from school. We are doing a school book club, and this was the book that I got picked for. It's a really good read if you're into, like, nature or, like how to or like step by step doing how to do things because it has some interesting things in there and um, more on that later right now let's jump into the story so sam gribbley is is miserable living in his cramped new york apartment with his mom dad and eight siblings he so he runs away to the to the to the Catskill Mountains with a penknife, a ball of cord, flint and steel, and the, and the clothes on his back. And what's interesting is there are actually a lot of uh, several step by step things on how to build certain things in the wild, and it's interesting how he sets up his own little environment out in the wild, and collaborates with some animal friends that he meets. In case you're wondering by what I mean, animal friends, it's not fiction because the friends, they, they don't talk or anything. But really, they don't really talk or anything like that. But, um, because it's, it's from Sam's point of, Sam Gribbley's point of view, like, in the forest, like, he adds a little personification to them. Like, he makes them a little more person-like. And... So, well, one, so if I could rate this, uh, like, from one to five stars, I would say three stars. The, the reason I say that is because it's not been my favorite book, seeing as I had to read it in a time limit for school. I like to kind of take my time on that sort of thing. Um, and it wasn't my favorite because it's also really old, actually. I think it's... It was 19, it was, it's 1950s old, but it's, it's actually, it's good. It's really good. And I think you, I think you might like it. Bye.